Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly crop videos for social media, including resizing, crop ratios, and more. There are a handful of programs that can do that, but I use Kapwing because it's super simple and completely browser-based. The first thing you're going to need to do is upload your footage. To do this, go ahead and click on the link down here in the bio. Once you're here, click Get Started, use your email to sign in or sign up, and click Create New Project. If you're on your computer, you can drag your video file from your desktop, or you can upload straight from a URL link, or just start with a blank canvas. But I'm gonna assume you already have your footage, so we're going to upload directly. Once you've done that, you will see a page with everything laid out in your timeline. All right, so you have your footage in Kapwing, and now it is time to get cropping. The first way we're gonna do that is by using the crop button. Once you're on your timeline, go ahead and click on your video. On the sidebar towards the right of the studio editor, under the edit tab, you'll see the crop button. Click that and you will see the dots around the video turn into rectangles. From there, go ahead and click and drag any of those rectangles to cut off unwanted sections of your video. And when you click in the gray area outside of your video, you will see those parts have successfully been cut away. But now you might be stuck with white edges around your video. If that's the case, it's time to resize your footage. To do this, click on your video and you will see those blue dots appear. Click and drag those blue dots to expand or shrink your new cropped video to fit your canvas. And a special tip, while you're doing this, go to the sidebar on the right again and under size, find the fill and lock ratio buttons. If you wanna keep the ratio of your video the same when you resize, make sure you have lock ratio on. If not, you can go ahead and keep fill on. You can toggle those on and off and see what works for you. Last but not least, you may want to crop a horizontal video into a vertical canvas for social media, or vice versa. Then you are going to crop by changing your canvas size. To change your canvas size, go ahead and click in the gray area outside of your video. Go over to the right sidebar and click Resize Canvas. You'll see a box pop up and when you click Select a new size, you will see a whole drop down menu of options for canvas sizes, including the social media platforms that use that size. When you click one, you have the option to either fit to center and use a canvas blur to expand the colors to the whole frame, or fill and crop, which crops off some of your video to fill out the canvas. And you can always use your new cropping and resizing skills to adjust it further if need be. And that is it. You have successfully cropped your video online. As a reminder to export your video, click the green export video button in the right hand corner. You can play around with the settings here and then click export again and you will be taken to a screen where your video processes. Once that's done, click download file and your video will download straight to your device. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let us know in the comments below if you have any thoughts or questions or videos you want us to make in the future. Please make sure you are subscribed. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling by creating amazing videos. Thanks for watching and happy editing.